Hello. Hi. Hello. All right. Welcome back here to KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine with a wonderful guest here at the station today, The Sweats. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. I believe it was like nearly maybe a year since you guys have been here. Yes. Time flies. How how has everything been? I hear you have like a new album. Mm-hmm. It's been good. Been busy. We've been. Thank you. We, <laughs> we've been recording and kind of mixing and, you know, also developing a new sound as it's going on. So a lot yeah, of changes definitely. have been made throughout the process. So there's going to be familiar songs on the album, some new songs. Nice. And we're excited. That's what we've been doing. That's Why it. don't you tell everyone that's listening who your name or what your names are and what you play? I'm Jake. I play bass and vocals. I'm Zach, and I play the drums. I'm Gio, and I'm on keys. I'm Anthony, and I play guitar. So <laughs> tell me when, Gio, when did you join the band? Yeah, and how did that whole thing come about? Well, we've been like besties for a few years, so that was just kind of how we all met and got together. And um, yeah, I, I'm coming up on a year, I think, in the band. Mm-hmm. So it just kind of started out as jamming together and... I helped write the synth parts for the EP and everything, and it just worked out, and we sound good together. That's really nice. Now, one of the key questions I wanted to ask you, also not really relevant, but also very relevant, what do you guys think of the new Harry Styles album? Yes! Uh, Woo-hoo! Yum. Ah. <laughs> uh, me and Gia listened to it on the way here. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think it's great. 17 times. 17 yeah. times? During, more than one during Falling Alone. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, it's cool. It's awesome. The it, music video, though. Which fish. One? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Cool, though, <laughs> 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 he's just, he's, you know what? I just know he's doing the right thing. He always has. Love Obviously. you, Harold. Love you, Harold. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, Louie tried something, didn't work. Niall's doing all right. Liam, no. Dude, Harry Liam's is terrible. nailing it. He's doing so <laughs> yeah, good. I mean, mm-hmm. He's been kind of cringe lately. Big time. Do he's you guys have any, too. like, style inspiration based off him? I feel I feel uh, like you guys do, but uh, I don't know. It's very expensive. Uh, so, um, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't wear Gucci. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> all right. Except well, you guys have been together for how long now? <sighs> well, the sweats was we, the sweats? a year. Yeah. About a, a year, year and a half. Yeah. Um, together as a unit in general, because we've undergone name change and different genre change and stuff. And uh, man, that was 2014. Yeah, 2014 would be. 20, four, nine, eight, seven, six, five years. <laughs> Zoinks. Four, wait, Jeez. did I do the math right? You're good. You're good. I got a C in math. So yeah. Yeah. Really <laughs> what exact day? <laughs> oh wait, okay, I'm June seventh. <laughs> June 7th. June 7th, oh. 2014. 2014. Yes, Little Caesars. We just went swimming. Aww. We had pizza. And we jammed. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Not a care so in the nice. world. And now, my girlfriend's birthday, so oh. we're all tied in. <laughs> 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 Tell me when, do you guys have a date yet for the new album? We really just been, we were set for like, we've had so many yeah, dates. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like it was supposed to be in like September. We were like October. November, and it's like December. <laughs> and now like yeah. we're just going to shoot for 2020 very yeah. very early yeah it's, it's just done yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just been a process of getting everything the way we want it it's been slow but healthy you know yeah we don't want to rush it and have yeah. it be you know bad <laughs> throughout like our whole being a band like the fi- in those five years we've you know really early on we put out the ep and then we tried to put out an album this rock album <laughs> we were just kids but we're like it was just, it never came out so our whole goal was kind of just to put out something you know and i think this is our first actual album just being out there so you know we're taking our time with it and it sounds great we're proud of it and the engineers are doing great so you heard some of the tracks today so that's gonna be fun we're excited where are you recording all this 37 in arcadia Mm -hmm. yes okay 37 studios and it's wonderful thank you brandon and ebute we love you guys love you blaine (laughs) (laughs) do you have any different like inspirations for this new album it's like everything. Um, honestly, the EP, like the three songs, mm-hmm. Love Sick, um, No Time, and Jealous Hearts, are like, it's like when we were into the police. Yeah. And then like our newer stuff is kind of like almost night game influence. If you haven't heard the night game, they're really cool. It's like an 80s vibe, but also like mm-hmm. new wave, whatever. But it's just a mush pot of everything. So it's odd, but that album's like a timeline pretty much. 
Yeah. It's yeah. got our, you know, from when we started in the scene to where to now, and it, I think that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have any shows coming mm -hmm. up? Um, Friday. Uh, Friday, yeah. <clears throat> we are playing with the Licks. There's not much detail on it yet, yeah. but. They it said they'll get announced. Hasn't been announced, but we're playing with the Licks this Friday. So if you follow us on Instagram, everything will be there. Mm -hmm. and nice. Twitter. The Licks were here like also last year too. They're awesome. They're yeah. so sweet. It's very sweet. But something I just randomly also wanted to talk about, your Spotify raps. Just oh. I'm oh my God. applicable <laughs> applicable to a music show, but it, it, <laughs> pretty good. You can go one by was, one. Was was yeah, yours one, one. one Direction? Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's <my> <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I'm down. Um, wait, what are we doing? Are, oh, are Spotify yeah. wrapped? Everything? The, are we doing the like top of the decade or the year? Both. Both. Oh, okay. I'm so, down. so, mine, my. Artist of the year was Blackpink. Most listened to was yes. Blackpink. Um, it was what Blackpink, One Direction, Nineteen Seventy Five. Was it Def Leppard? Uh, no, <laughs> I remember the other two. I don't either. I don't know. Kings of Leon and um, someone else. Nineteen Seventy Five. I said that. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, <laughs> um, I don't remember my songs. They were all Blackpink songs. <laughs> And then my artist of the decade was One Direction, and I don't really remember much else about the decade one. It was like One Direction, 1975, The Police, mm -hmm. Paramore, and I don't know. Can you please <laughs> tell me how that whole One Direction thing started? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah, <laughs> ever, ever since they started putting music out, we've always loved them. Well, I remember we were in we were in eighth grade, and you know, we weren't big fans of the Biebs. We are now. I love Justin Bieber. God bless him. But you know, um, <laughs> right? We were in eighth grade, and then One Direction blew up, and then me and Zach are like, let's check these guys out. <laughs> so, you know, so we watched the the. You know, we're really in, we were into rock. You know, like yeah. You know, he liked Zeppelin, and he got me into Zeppelin, and I was super into like Blink and like Green Day. <laughs> and then we watched the One Thing music video, and they were fitted, Aww. dude. H and M, yeah, H and M threw up all over them, and we were like, "This slaps." <laughs> and so everyone's like, "You're lying. You're doing it to see whatever." And I'm like, "No way." And ever since then, we've all been big fans. We saw them yeah. live a couple times. So yeah. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So did you guys get tickets then? To are you? Yeah. I saw yeah. Can I we did. All of you. I, I can't. I thought you had like four, dude. No, I bought two. Oh, damn it. Ridiculous. I am, yeah, I'm going. Jake's not going. I'm not. I'm hopping. <laughs> I'm hopping the fence. <laughs> All right, other Spotify raps. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Dude, I don't remember a lot of mine. I remember mine. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, well, my number one was in 1975, and it always is, so it's kind of not different, but it was 1975, Blackpink. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You guys suck. Dude, they're <laughs> great. <laughs> hey, haters suck. Dude. Hey. That's true. Um, period. Uh, it was 1975 Blackpink. My decade was 1975. And then it had like Green Day. <laughs> and then like, I don't even know. But either way, Blackpink. Mm. I don't think 1D was on there because we listened to it through your phone. So you get all the streams from me <laughs> when we're together. So you're right. a fake fan. That's, yeah. Not <laughs> even. It. It's cool. You just listen to it. You Yeah, I remember. Uh, my artist of the year was the 1975. The decade was Cage the Elephant. Oh. Um, ah, my top artist for the 1975, Cage the Elephant, Kings of Leon, Charlie Puth, Ooh. and then someone else. I forgot who else. Oh, I think John Mayer, I think. Jonathan. Yeah, I don't remember my top songs. I think I Love think Me was on there. Mine was Where's My Mind. That's yeah. Really, yeah. Nice. That's been your favorite song for yeah. like, as long as I've known I you. That's know. awesome. Uh, mine... Um, my 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 top artist of the year was Kings of Leon. My artist of the decade was Kings of Leon. And <laughs> when I it was funny because when I was going through mine, I've had my Spotify since I think 2016 or something, maybe before that, or 14 or something. But it, my artist of the year was Kings of Leon every year except for 2017. It was Paramore. <laughs> when after last <laughs> came out. <laughs> um, but my top artists were like Kings Leon, uh, The Cure, The Raconteurs, and I, I think I'm sure the 1975 was on there. Um, but yeah, that's all I really remember from mine. 
I know my top song was. Uh, I know it's hard. <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is that to join this band, you have to listen to the 1975. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yes. the common thread. And Kings of Leon. And, and Kings of Leon. Uh, <laughs> One Direction. All of them. Oh, and any 2010s pop. Tayo oh, yeah. Cruz or Jason <laughs> Derulo. You know? Yeah. You have Legends. to sweat a lot if you get hot. <laughs> 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 no, that's the thing. Uh -huh. um, I wanted to ask you, um, because I, too, play keyboard, but how was that writing music for songs that already had existed? And how was, yeah, how was yeah, that whole process? I, I wrote synth parts for like the whole, um, like Love Sick, or Bittersweet EP and like just like Last Christmas and stuff. So I had <laughs> already written that. And for the album, I kind of just like recorded what I've been playing that I've just kind of changed throughout time. And then, I mean, Bloom has a, very notable you know synth part so I, it's kind of stayed the same but we'll be all right i just kind of wrote my own wrote my own thing you know and it's fun i like i have a classical background so it's kind of oh, weird nice. you know coming and playing like 80s synth pop but it's <laughs> it's really fun <laughs> with classical um piano music i also grew up with very cool that me and my sister very cool you guys want to shred after this <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do you got <laughs> Show me some chops. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a break and let you guys just chill out here at the station. But we're going to play the last couple of songs that you had played. Do you want to go ahead and shout those out? Sure. You will be hearing Growth, Fakes, Medication, um, No Time, and Bloom. Right? Did you say we'll be all right? And we'll be all right. That's and it. We'll right. Did you change yes. the the bridge on um, Bloom? On Bloom? Bl yeah. Yeah. We changed, we changed a lot. Okay. Because we worked I with the producer noticed. for a while, and he's like, do this and this. And we're like, okay. And we just kept it that way. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. And it sounds better. Um, do, you, do you feel more or less, I guess, in control with a producer? Well, we don't really mm. talk anymore. It was kind of weird. But oh. Yeah. We, we, we had worked with him. Mm-hmm. But it kind of just didn't work out. Yeah. Maybe so the album, we did it by ourselves. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. yeah. Like, no hard feelings at all. Yeah, definitely. It was definitely. just like, yeah, you know what happens, and, you know, we had to create differences. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he helped us definitely form our songs into what they are. 100%. And, like, like we did re-record some songs for the album, but they're different just be because we've matured musically since we first wrote them. So there are some parts that are either taken out or added in to compliment them better you know right yeah. well thank you so much for being here thank and you. playing thank you. again for the second time mm -hmm. and i hope you guys you know have a great career i know Thanks. i've seen your i don't know i don't know what it is about your music that your style is so distinct last christmas how <laughs> it, it's really it's really you know hard for you to you know do a cover of a song and actually mm -hmm. have your sound mm. in that song so mm. I played that song last year and probably this year for oh, Christmas sorry. parties. Thank you so much. Very, very good. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you again. Expect it at upcoming shows. <laughs> <laughs> Any show doesn't in June. Sure. Yeah. In sure. June. yeah. Any <laughs> last Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. And Thank you all for listening. Again, this is KCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. <laughs>